Okay, here's the first little progress update. Um, yeah, I guess I could show you the inside, but I'll just wait for later. Can we talk about how much I love Enderman? First time, um, it's the first time I'm ever cheering these guys. Actually, I should probably get a few purple sheep going, to be honest. Okay, I need some oak logs for the, uh, I guess you'd call them kegs. Okay, mission accomplished. I'm just kind of took a little chunk out right here. Okay, I just finished up my kegs. Um, what? Where are they coming from? I have got to figure this out before it's a creeper falling on me instead of a zombie. Could they be spawning up here? I don't know. Hmm. See, on creative, uh, I play on passive. So I don't really have that happening. I don't know if I showed the kitchen yet. So, this, this is just the cellar. The kitchen comes up into here. Um, not done, obviously. I still gotta put in the windows and the stoves and counter space and stuff like that. So this is fabulous. Anyway. I wonder where all the goats are. Um I wonder if they all fell down here. In my uh creative world they all fell down that hole, but that hole's a lot bigger. But it had water at the bottom, so there's like a pile of goats at the bottom. <laughs> in the little pool. I'm kind of worried that all my goats will die because I didn't want some. So for now, I'm just going to cover this up for now. Besides, this hole only needs to be one big for my... well. Apparently spiders are spawning up here. So, solution. Stick one of these. I'm, I'm so scared I'm gonna like accidentally melt a piece of ice and it's like somehow it's just gonna like flow into my uh, signal tower <laughs> and just wipe it all out that's like the scariest thought in the world yeah but anyway I'm, I'm kind of just like I'm kind of see see anyways um, I'm just trying to go proof this place And how I'm trying to do that is like get these dangerous kind of pits blocked off by some brick walls. Mm, I wasn't really feeling this giant thing in the way, so um, I just lowered the 
I don't know if I can actually get through this. Yeah, I just lowered it down. Let's try and see. What the hell? Um, maybe that happened because this didn't have one of these. What the? Oh, right, right, right. Of course that would happen. I need to send you down here. What the? I said down here. Can it not get through that? Okay. <sighs> I guess I can't have these. I feel like that didn't used to happen. Something different. Okay, apparently just sticking a torch here will keep it up. I don't know if it's gonna interfere with anything though. Ran out of uh, dark oak. All the dark oak I got on my first trip. <laughs> you might remember that I said, hey, maybe this will be enough. That was horribly naive. <laughs> I got about the, I got this roof done. Tiny, tiny portion of the main roof. And inside here, I got these walls done, you know, but I still have these walls. I got floor. I also have walls in here, that in this hallway, for example. Tons of walls are made up of these dark oak logs. Uh, yeah, basically I still need a lot more. Probably, my guess would be maybe about two more hours of farming. Dark oak logs might be enough. I'm about to uh, take my shulk, my two shulker boxes here and go for a little, go for another dark oak trip back in that same spot. Yeah, before I go collect the dark oak, I have to repair my my axe, of course, the mending, and I'm gonna I'm still work on wool. I need I need a lot of wool. <laughs> you might think I'm exaggerating, but I got a lot of carpet in that castle. Yeah, I'll just fix up my axe, then I'll go out, go on another big wood gathering expedition. See you there. Okay, I'm all good. All good now. I got my axe all fixed up. Um, I would like a bed. I can just grab three wool real quick. Speaking of wool, <laughs> okay. now I just have to fly like a thousand blocks this way, just following this, was, is this south or north? Yeah, just gotta follow the southern coast of the ocean. I can just show real quick. Here's where I, uh, I don't know if I showed this, but I cut down a whole bunch of, um, acacia trees. 
think I, I don't know if I showed it, but I just thought they were kind of ugly. Not a fan of them, especially next to my snowy mountain. It's supposed to be kind of like a winter wonderland type thing, and then you have like, you have like a Serengeti with an acacia right next to it. I don't think that looks good. Oh look, there were there were more sheep here. I totally would have been fine on the bed front. And here we are, I think. Um, let's see. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Yep. Okay, I will get to chop chopping. You know, now that I'm here, oh. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should like try TNT mining in the Nether a little bit. Because I think I have two pieces of Nether, right? So if I can just get one more, then I could upgrade my axe. Oh. Um, I just don't know if that's actually worth it. Like. Sometimes you upgrade your tools and it's like exactly the same. Like, I guess you, I don't know. Maybe you like don't hit the next threshold or something. I'm not exactly sure how tool strength works, but. So yeah, it's like I could go try that, but I'd just be wasting my time. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just I'll just stick to this. Well on the other hand, I do need a crap load of wood. And it'd probably make the most sense to go do that right now. Instead of waiting until I spent like two hours chopping wood down. How much faster could it even get? This already seems almost... Eh, you know what? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go get that another right. Okay, here's my TNT stash. Um... Need some, some I'm gonna light it. Here we go. I'm just gonna go blow all these up, see if I can't find some netherite. Alright, I'm in my nether now. The question is where am I going to do this? Um, I think I'll do it like right here. some random ass spot. Like so. This is the first time I've ever done this, by the way. If it's not super obvious. Louise. Let's get rid of some of this little lava. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I made another tunnel, but it was really small, unfortunately. But yeah, I just made a an incredibly long tunnel right parallel to my my uh, 
I guess you'd call it my like nether highway. So yeah, I'm gonna blow this up now. Okay. Uh, I blew through this tunnel too. Unfortunately, there was nothing. Hmm. Starting to wonder if I need to be on a certain Y level. I'll look that up before I keep going. So according to the wiki, Y level 15 should have the best chance. So... I'm just looking for somewhere that's not like lo all lava pooled up. Uh, is this ancient debris? That was a close one. I almost died in lava. That would have pissed me off a lot. I'm gonna feel pissed. I'm just gonna like, start here. Got a little bit of tunnel going. It gets kind of funny that I found the ancient debris before I even blew this tunnel up just by digging it. that? Oh, what's that? Wow. Why level 15 is so much better? Wait a second, that's not ancient debris. Oh, it is. There's just two of them. Three of them. Wow. I just found another one just digging a tunnel. <laughs> I was just gonna dig a tunnel parallel to this one and Yep. Immediate left. Well, tunnel's done. It's like a little flood of lava. Of course. Alright, here we go. Um, oh shit, you need four for each one. Okay. How much do I need for a tool upgrade? Just one? Nice, I can actually upgrade three tools instead of two. Uh, let's be smart, start with the axe. Okay, I uh, guess I'm pretty much done. Here's my haul. Pretty much just kind of started here and like... <laughs> yeah, as you can see there's not many dark oak trees. Like, very, very close. Kind of just spread out from here and got them all. Gonna head back now. Here's a little sneaky peeky. This is the frame of the roof. Um, so, uh, this there's kind of a small little over like overhang for the infinity pool. But yeah, the wall kind of comes down to right about here, and then it all kind of ends up down there somewhere. Um, there's also going to be like a wall 
down there. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, there's a little sneaky peek. I got the roof all done. If you look over there, <laughs> you can see a glass wall. That's all gonna be walled up. Man, I got a lot to do. Check this out. Um, now that I, well, I think it's because I upgraded my sword. If I stand still and hit them, then I'll one-shot them now. So that should make farming these dyes a lot easier. Still just farming some gray dye for some carpets right now. Oh no! I made all this gray wool that I don't need. God damn. Stupid. Uh, I just ran out of quartz. Even though I had that huge trip. Well, I knew I w <laughs> I knew I was gonna run out eventually, but yeah, here's how far I managed to build with the quartz I had. <laughs> oh, it's not a lot. I I managed to do like half of the. This isn't really even half. Probably a little less than half of the. Uh, I guess this is the southern wall. No, the northern wall. I always get those confused in this world. Uh, so I, got, I managed to do basically a quarter of the outer walls. <laughs> and... Part of the kitchen... Ugh, that's really not a lot. I haven't... Oh my god. I still have so much... Like, do I not have quartz in the somewhere that I missed? Please? Please tell me. It's not all quartz. Quartz? Quartz? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go do a lot of quartz gathering. I kinda just wanna... Probably just work on the inside some more. I don't need quartz for that. And I have a ton of wood and that's what a lot of the inside is made of. So yeah, maybe I'll just keep working on that first and then go on a little nether trip. Yeah, I've never even heard of blue ice. This guy just showed up. I don't even know what that is. I'm just hearing about it. I kind of want to go over there because <laughs> I think I just need two more ancient debris. I found one, or I got one in base, I think. So that'd be nice, but it's scary. It's super scary. <sighs> I just died <coughs> in the Nether. To a fucking rocket. Like, I was just flying around and I ran into a wall like five times in a row. God, I was just about to come back, too. I had... I had like one and a half shulker boxes full of quartz. I had all my gear. All my netherite gear. That I've been working so hard to get. All my mending... Armor... You know, my elytra wing, I'm pretty sure I just lost my second one and I only had two. Well, I actually managed to find where I died. <laughs> oh man. How did I find this? Well, I've, I'd first I teleported myself to somewhere I found on 
I load up my world on the amulet world editor. Um, I didn't know entities don't actually show up in that like they did in MC Edit. So I was just trying to like look for the entities, but you can't actually do that. So instead I found, I found this spot right here. I remember thinking this kind of vaguely maybe kind of resembled the area I died in. Oh, I teleported here and there's nothing here. So then I was like, maybe I went this way. I was kind of looking at my coordinates. I was thinking the uh, the Z coordinate was a little uh, low, so I went this way a little, and then thinking, so, you know, I was probably up, up-ish. Then I don't know. I just kind of like I think I just came through here, and I was like, saw some glowing stuff or something. But yeah, I mean, look. I got all my tools, all my armor, all my shulker boxes. I mean, the count saved. I was seriously about to, like, I was so close to just... See, like, I think I flew through here and then I just... I don't know, I just, like, flew into a bunch of walls or something. But yeah, um, and I don't really feel bad about using creative over here. I'm really not into like losing a bunch of progress, like a dozen hours of progress or something crazy, just on all my gear and stuff. Doesn't sound like fun to me. Okay. Uh, put it all back which should be oh man can't believe I found that <laughs> let's put this back on even get both picks Got my food even. Oh man, so glad I found that. I should really just start playing with F3 open in the nether. Even though it's, is there like, a, is there like a, is there like a limited version of F3 with just your coordinates or something? That would be really nice. Well, uh... I guess there's nothing to do now except get back on the grind. <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky. Alright, I'm ready to go home, but... I don't actually know where my portal is. If you look at the chords, I'm pretty close to zero, zero. So I just came up into the ceiling. I'm gonna make another portal. And the, re the reason I'm making it in the ceiling is I'm just hoping I'm not gonna get spit out in some random cave. Like I always do. <laughs> Please don't be in a cave. <laughs> I don't have any lights. I'm not in deep slate, I guess. I guess I'll just dig straight up. Yeah. Oh, nice. I was under the ocean. So, uh, that actually, well, actually that explains a lot about why the portal was under ground. It probably couldn't spawn anywhere else. I mean, there's no ground above the ocean to spawn on, so. Okay, I just got back from another little expedition. 
Um, this this is what I had from my last expedition, the one where I died, and then I went on another one today. Apparently there's nothing in there. Oops. Okay. So this is what I got. Mm, yeah. Did a little quick progress video. I'm. That's my glass window for my giant library. This. Uh, this wooden floor here is the floor to the library. So this whole thing is the library. And uh, right there you can see, it's kind of like the main lobby floor. It's also the ceiling to, the to this part of the library. Yeah, oops. And let's see. Uh, Oh yeah, that thing right there is the stair, the like main lobby grand staircase. Right there is where my infinity pool is going to overhang, and this is going to be my my bedroom is above the library right here on this side. So it also has this nice window view. Uh, let's see. I also. This wall used to kind of like, that's where it was earlier. And then I built it up to here. I also added some of these like lamps down there. Yeah, but this is gonna, oops. This wall right here is gonna keep extending over there and it's gonna connect to the library. So yeah, that's just a little update. I still have like a lot of quartz left. I mostly just did a bunch of stuff involving like wood and glass. So I just wanted to show what this looked like with the window before I put this wall up and block the view of the window, which I'm gonna do now. Need some glazed terracotta for the main lobby walls so they threw together just you know a little automatic system uh the only reason i really did this instead of just using a wall of furnaces and manually putting coal in is so i wanted since i have the iron farm i'm gonna start using lava buckets so I think lava bucket burns two stacks of materials per bucket, yeah. unless it's changed or if I'm misremembering. So yeah, that means this I would have to refresh it in the middle of it, which means I can't just set it and forget it. You know, that's that's no good. So yeah. And uh, I also forgot to mention, I'm pretty low on coal, so it's also, I'm not low on iron at all, but like iron's an infinite resource for me, coal isn't, so that's another benefit. Okay, got my buckets. Ooh, um, I'm just going to put these down on the ground to store them for a second. Yeah, so I need some lava. I could go to the nether, but I don't know if I've ever shown this on camera. Cave down here. And we got some very convenient lava. So this is no problem. It's not like we're gonna run out of lava. And then they get back up. Which is, it's actually going to take two rockets. Actually, no, it's not. You can get up with one rocket. It's just going to be slightly inconvenient. Mm-hmm. 
So that's pretty successful. Okay, here's the test flight with the buckets. I think actually you, you can, well no, that would be really stupid. Or would it? No, it wouldn't. Well, maybe it would. I was going to say, I think you can inject these with a hopper from the side to input fuel. Which would be fine, unless we're just... Unless we just need like one stack. Then it would be a waste of half a bucket, I guess. But I don't know, like, if I even care about that. You know, like... Just half a bucket, it's not really a big deal. So maybe, but then again, do I really care about an auto fuel injector? Maybe I do. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of want to try it. I'm going to try it. Actually, apparently these don't even use the bucket. I, I honestly thought the bucket was destroyed too. <sighs> now that I'm seeing that the bucket's not destroyed though, I feel like that's how I, I feel like I remember it that way. It's like, you know, even though I actually didn't really remember, but now I remember. Let's just uh, throw these. Hold up, I need some of these. Um, oh, okay, so these are all loaded up, ready for the next load. Should probably put some more clay up in there and then I should probably go farm some more buckets. Here's what my iron farms produced so far. Uh, I feel like that's plenty for buckets. I'm back. I'm a second load. The third load. Oops. Okay. It's my fourth load. Oh, hey, I found diamonds. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, holy crap. Why did I take so much damage? Jesus. Anyway, I'm just kind of realizing it would have been smart to bring shulker boxes over here. But yeah, this is my fifth and final load. At least for now. This is gonna. This will probably take care of all my smelting needs for a very, very long time. Got all those, all that. So yeah. All right, I looked it up. Lava buckets smelt a hundred items. So <laughs> it it um it couldn't do two full stacks. That's why it started another one. Should probably take a, three more of these in here. Hopefully this is gonna be like... Yeah, it's even. It's, it's even. Okay. Nice. So I'm just gonna get some light gray. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also have to smelt the terracotta again to make the glazed. So hey, this system will be perfect for that too. Nice. 
found a floating tree. I'm just got down with a little sand run. Should be good on concrete and glass for a while. Okay, all done. Here's my white concrete hull. I pull this up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to be using these for the ceiling in the library and the walls in the main lobby. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need a lot. I already did actually most of the ceiling in here though. This is the library by the way. Um, I got to finish up like that strip, but yeah, I did most of it. And then I also have to do like the walls in this room. Um, I'm gonna have, this is the light gray terracotta glazed. I'm gonna have these on the first floor, but the second and third floor is gonna be white concrete on the walls. Oh, this is what, oops, and then yeah. Um, gosh, I still need so much quartz. <laughs> it just never ends. I've got a whole nother section of wall that's gonna be out here near the front of the castle. It's gonna be like out here, that's gonna take a crap load. And I still have like, oh my god, I still have like most of the walls themselves. Uh, this is gonna take freaking forever. The smelting system I made was really helpful. If I didn't have that, if I had to hand smelt all of this. To be honest, uh, I didn't know where smooth quartz came from. I thought I could just make it on the stone cutter or craft it. But hey, that's cool. I just barely don't have enough smooth quartz left to finish up my bathroom. That's sad. Look, the Endermen are already starting their bullshit. Yo, I knew I heard a cow. <laughs> Just found in my basement. Uh, I don't think I ever explained what this is. So we've got the library up here. This is under the library. This is just going to be a big room. Uh, I'm thinking it's like a meeting room. You know, like a conference room. Uh, down here is going to be like the war room. Like in uh, Doctor Strange Love. And I'm also going to have a big wall. Oh, frick you, creeper. I have a big wall of glowstone down there. I'm gonna put maybe I might have two, one there and one there, but probably just there. I'm gonna put um, a big map of my world on the wall there, and then this comes out to the wall here. I said earlier that this goes to my library, I think, but yeah, it actually goes to the basement. Which is appropriate because this area is like supposed to be like a kind of military area for like meetings and stuff. And then you go over here. And there's going to be a long hallway down here. And this is going to be like the guards. Uh, kind of like dorms, I guess. Quarters, whatever. And the guards can, you know, come out here. This is going to be the, this is where the, the wall out front connects. And it goes all the way around and it connects to the 
uh, it's gonna connect right here. That's gonna be like right under the front like drawbridge gate thing. Yeah, and then. But yeah, so it's like the dorms and all the military stuff are all kind of on the bottom. And then like, you know, actual like living and stuff, like all my personal stuff, I guess you could call it. My house and all that, it's all kind of upstairs. Do And then over here, the hallways can, uh, th these are all the dorms. The hallway comes around here and then comes out here. So that way the guards, um, they have access to all the walls from pretty much, they can leave their door and get to any of the walls real quick, you know. Although this one <laughs> isn't actually connected down there. But yeah, that's, uh, that's how things are gonna go. Time to, uh, oh, and by the way, this is all the quartz I have. <coughs> Sorry, I think that's all the quartz I have left. So, you know, that sucks. Yeah, I've actually, I've not only run out of quartz, but for dark oak, I have, let's see, a couple stacks, a couple stacks. I'm pretty much out of dark wood, too. I really didn't think I'd be able to use two <laughs> shulker boxes full. Um, but I guess, like, you know, when you're making your walls out of the actual logs, you know. <laughs> goes a little faster like there's some oh I miss that ooh, I should take care of that all right I got my in my uh, access way from up here this is gonna be how you get down to the war room oh by the way this there's gonna be uh it's under the the front gate it's gonna go up to the library and it's also going to connect to the walls, the outside walls. The, the front wall that comes out right here, that is going to loop around and then come over here and then it's going to connect in right there. So once again, the guards who live down here can access the walls and we don't have to see their plebeian selves because they're all down in the basement. And here's access to the war room. I'm gonna have to take a bunch of TNT and like blow all the snow up to uh, get a little workable room. So uh, I'm over here digging out my guard dorms and I just found a big, very spooky cave. I kinda wanna go down there and look. YOLO! Okay. Mm, that's a creeper. Oh my god! No. Mm, 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 no. No, no. 
Jesus Christ, dude. I just don't want the any skeletons that a creeper down there. Oh, that was a thing. Yeah. By the way, uh, why is my graphical user interface so big? I looked at the options. It says it's set to auto. Did I like? Is there a hotkey that changes that that I accidentally hit? Maybe, oh my god. Well, if I hit that, I was probably one under it, right? Uh, apparently not. We'll stick a four. Yeah, I also, I wanted to show over here. This is the front gate. A uh, basement, and then the front gate will be like right above here. That's the door. It's gonna be like a little, uh, well, you'll see it. And then up here, oh, this goes up here, and then it goes out here, and then it goes around that little ice lake over there and connects over there. And then out here, um, I haven't actually done that part in creative yet, but. I was thinking like a arrow, bone arrow range maybe, where I could do that in the backyard, you know, for like the guards to like train and stuff. Um, although, I don't know, pretty much like run out of room in my bags and all these chests too. So I'm just taking all the cobble and snow blocks out. I'm gonna put snow in here. Put cobble in the other one. Oh. Okay. I'll put cobble in these two. Then uh, I'm just gonna take the shoulder boxes with me. Bring them back to my base and unload them there in my storage. And then I'm gonna go on a quartz mining run again. Sigh. I just died and all my shit went to lava. God. I had four sixths of my shulker boxes. I had like four, like, th like three or four hours worth of quartz Oh my god. All my gear. Okay, guys. Um, I was a freaking moron and died. And not only did I die, but um, I died at a bastion remnant again to a black armor pig dude. And I flew into the lava as I died. So everything I had, I'm just gonna assume it's gone. Assuming I could even find my way back to where I was. So I'm not willing to just like load a backup to get my gear back. And plus my last backup is like eight hours ago or something. <laughs> like this is uh this wood isn't here and this room isn't cleared out. This other stuff too, just all over the place I'm sure, but uh, yeah, and um I'm not I'm not willing to just suck it up and like lose like two or three hours of quartz farming either. You know? I'm, I'm not willing to like ruin my day just to not quote unquote cheat in a single player game, you know. Even though it does kind of suck that the world feels more cheaty now, you know. It feels a little less legit since I basically just died and didn't suffer the consequences, but you know. Life's too short for that. So yeah, I gave myself back 
the leather in the pork chops that I got from pigs. I gave myself back some glowstone that I got. I probably had more like three stacks. And, and this quartz is probably right about what I had. Uh, I didn't, yeah. I didn't actually mean to get these two, but. Uh, I know I at least had one box of quartz and that was kind of like a while ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess I had like a shulker box in a row. Uh, since I don't know exactly what, I think that's a pretty conservative estimate. Um, I also enchanted all my stuff. Uh, I don't remember if I had Depth Strider. By the way, I just found out that um, Swift Sneak is for your pants. I didn't even know that. I thought it was for boots. And so I didn't put it on. Uh, let's see, what did I have? Mending. And I'm breaking three. Actually, I think that's all I had on this, right? Um, yeah, I also, one of my shulker boxes had like a row of useful materials because it's just stuff I had on me when I went to my base, like in the last clip. I didn't want to put it in my storage system in my base, but I was ready to just go to the nether, so I just stuck it in one of my shulker boxes, and I figured I'd still have it when I got back here. Unfortunately, I do not have it, and I lost all whatever that was. <laughs> not even... I don't know what I lost all in total, but it was probably like wood and maybe glass, just some random useful stuff. But probably a lot easier to get in quartz anyway, so I'm not too bummed, I guess. Ah, uh, God, who am I kidding? I'm a freaking idiot, dude. I probably lost like an hour or more of progress just from this death. You know, even with giving myself all the stuff back. This sucks, dude.